Hey family, what's good? This is your girl and the Bronze Goddess and I'm actually here to talk to you guys really quickly about something that I just experienced. I feel like it'd be really helpful for you guys. If you like this video, be sure to share it and like and favorite it and like it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it really helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. But anyway, um, so I was praying this morning. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I wrote a book in October, I had my first retreat in March, and I have a couple other things planned for the rest of the year. I'm going to tell you guys more about those things as the time goes on. But I was like, you know, telling God, like, please help me to be prepared mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Prepare me for the next level that you have in store for me. And I feel like not that long after I got an email. The email was uh, giving me some really good news, something that I had been wanting for the past few months. I'm going to tell you what that news is. Uh, my book is now on Kindle. It's taken quite a long time for me to finally get everything ready, but it's now on Kindle. I'll link it below. And almost immediately following that good news, I got some negativity. I got a negative comment. And for a split second there, I almost let that negative comment uh, robbed me of the joy that I was feeling to finally have my book on Kindle which is something I've been wanting for a while I just been busy with other projects and haven't had the time to devote to doing that but I feel like that happens a lot uh, with some people and that's why I wanted to share this particular video whether you are the first person in your family to go to college or the first one of your girlfriends your single girlfriends to get married or to get an amazing job or to buy a home or whatever it is there will always be somebody with some negativity trying to rob you of that moment I was watching this interview a long time ago uh, with Oprah. She was interviewing uh, Lindsay Lohan and she said this and I'll never forget it. Vultures are waiting to pick at your bones. I wouldn't let them have me. There are always going to be people and the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I know there are a lot of people who have a lot of followers. Now, you don't have to be a major YouTube guru to have followers, whether they're your friends on Facebook or they follow you on Twitter or they watch you on Instagram or Snapchat or Pinterest or Tumblr or wherever it is, or especially even if you are on YouTube. Don't assume that the people who are with you are really with you. Because haters like to follow everything that you do too. They want the best seat in the house. They want to sit up front. So they're going to follow you on everything. They'll never comment, nothing positive that is, but they'll watch. And they hate on you and they don't even know that they're a hater. They follow everything that you do, but they never leave a comment. They never have anything positive to say. They watch your entire video with a side eye, with a stank face the entire time. I want to remind you to not let anybody steal this moment. It's like that song from Nicki Minaj. I wish that I could have this moment for life. This is my moment. I've waited all my life, I can tell it's time. This is your moment. Some of you have been waiting on this moment all your life. You've been doing YouTube videos for years and you're finally to the point where you can do it for a living. You finally have your own business. You finally own your home. You finally got your degree after five years. After all these student loans. You can, whatever it is that you finally are here, you're finally here. And in your mind, the way you saw everything with your mind's eye, they'd be a parade in a way. Be, people would be dancing in the streets and they're not doing that. The people who you thought would be happy for you aren't happy for you. The thing about it is you have to realize about wanting fame or wanting notoriety or wanting to go for your dream is the bigger you get, the easier it is people to see you. The higher the stage, the higher the platform, the easier you are to see. The visibility is increased. So you're going to have people who can see you for the first time and they're going to think you don't deserve it. They're going to think you didn't pay your dues. They're going to think you didn't earn it. They're going to think for whatever reason that you don't deserve whatever it is that you have. And they're going to, and they're going to pray and pray for your downfall. They're, they're hoping that their little negative comment will get you to stop. That with this negative little, they'll, they'll, do, they'll do it in a way that my daddy used to call nice nasty. They'll try to act like they're being complimentary, but they're hoping this little negative comment will make you stop making videos. Make you stop singing, stop singing, stop acting, stop dancing, stop doing whatever it is that you want to do. They're hoping this little comment will make you stop. The vultures are waiting to pick at your bones. Don't let them have you. Don't let them have this moment that you've been waiting for all your life, all your effort, all your time. Nobody knows how hard you've prayed to be where you are, how much you've sacrificed to be where you are. You have every right to be happy. And don't let anybody steal that from you, rob you of that joy that you finally have. It's not your fault that all your friends are single and you're finally getting married and you're the first one out of the group. 
Don't let anybody take that moment from you. Don't let anybody dull your sparkle or take your shine. I love you guys and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like this video. Be sure to share this video. Be sure to leave positivity in the comment section and all of that. And if you are new to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe, if you enjoy videos like these, and I'll see you all in the next one. Till next time, Litter Divas and Dudes. Jesus, honey. <laughs>